So today, YouTube, we're looking at a Squire made roughly around 1984 to 1987, 86. And it's got the System 1 tremolo. It looks all original. The strap didn't come with a guitar. That's my custom made strap but it come with a whammy bar which is not the original it's an aftermarket one which fits and works but if i want to hunt down an original one man they are silly money just for a tremolo in fact to find one one of these guitars with all the original parts like this apart from the whammy bar is like gold dust because they used to get lost. All these used to get lost. People used to take them off and play around and fiddle with them because, you know, people just didn't want to use the uh, locking system and they wanted to use the uh, strap trem, just like a normal strap. But yeah, so. It's got the, still got the locking nut. And another thing as well, what happens with these is people take the locking nuts off and they just put a roller nut. Yeah, the fretboard's been loved a bit, as you can tell. You can see the wear on the maple board. The frets ain't bad, but they're not really, really thick. But they're still not bad. You know, there's plenty of life in them yet. Yeah. Who knows, it might have been refretted a couple of times in its life. But yeah, it's got a little line crack there, just a tiny one. Nothing major for a vintage guitar. So yeah, it's um it's got a lovely neck, as you can see. A lovely neck. You can see on there, can't you? See a little bit of flame. Uh yeah. Made in Japan, early Goto tuning pegs. They are a pain in the backside sometimes to string, but when you get used to it, it's not too bad. But yeah, it's even got the single scratch plate, the single ply one, 50s. Basically this guitar was made for a period where they weren't making American Fender Strats at the time. So the Squire made in Japan and the Fender made in Japan were like, yeah, the shit up guitars of the time. And to be honest, there is no difference between a Fender, one of these E-Series System 1 Strats. There's no difference between this and a Fender version of the same guitar. The only thing, the only difference is this says Squire on the headstock and it says Fender on the actual Fender ones. Believe it or not, the Fender version came with 22 frets and these come with 21 frets. Even the pots and all that, they're all identical. So the guitar's been loved over the years. That's a good sign of a good guitar. Um, yeah. So this is the guitar, how it came to me. That's my A chord. I'm on the neck position. These strings are very thin for me. These are nines or tens or something, but the neck just feels absolutely like butter. I don't know if it's been set up professionally, but it feels like it has. These are really rare in the UK, believe it or not. And in America, they are quite rare as well. There's a lot of normal 
strap sort of uh, 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 straps about with the uh, E-Serial number. Uh, there's a lot of E-Series straps out there and they're very desirable guitars anyway. They're, they're lovely guitars. And like I said, the reason why they are so um, desirable is because basically when this was made, CBS took over and uh, they took over in the 70s or late 60s or whatever, but quality control went downhill with the American Strats. So um, roughly around 1985, 84, um, the quality was that bad that the Squires just blew everyone away when they came out in 1982. Uh, and the Japanese were just building guitars which were just blowing the Americans away. So, unfortunately, what happened, um, the American factory went down and uh, for like one year or two, and it, it was almost like, you know, you gotta sort yourself out or, you know, what we're doing here. Because, you know, these squires and these fenders made in Japan are just, blowing everything away and all and lots of famous players were, were actually buying the squires and and the fenders made in japan um the, the fender standard straps and they were just buying them and and obviously they were identical guitars roughly you know apart from the logo you know one said squire one said fender um and um the reason why the jbs are so collectible is because they were the very, very first ones. Do you know what I mean? Period. So, uh, and then the E-Series come not long after the JV. You had the JV. And then after that, you had uh, the SQ uh, series. Uh, and they're all sort of roughly around the same time when you get to the SQ. You got the SQ, you got the A series. You can get some A series straps which have different tuning pegs, some of them do. Um, not all of them came with the Fender Goto machine heads. Um, some of them come with these like cheaper pegs on them. Uh, the uh, A-series Squires, uh, Jap ones. And then you have like B and then C. Um, and so they were putting Fenders out with B serial numbers and C serial numbers. And they're all roughly around the same time. And then after the B, the B, C serial numbers, you had E. So uh, there was E, E it came out, and obviously E clashed with 1984 to 1987, uh, up to then. And uh, after that, obviously, production moved eventually to Korea. So, um, yeah, so, the, the, this is um, an E serial number, and uh, I've not took the neck off, I've not done anything with it, because I'm a musician at the end of the day. I don't really care too much, but I do know, though, uh, that this is all original underneath. Everything is original. The bridge, all the original parts, and everything, which is amazing, because you'd expect something to wear out. Um, and this guitar looks like it's been loved and cared for and uh, just by the look of the neck and also the frets um, they look like they've been set up recently or whatever but it's a vintage guitar now um, and uh, it sounds great the original pickups nothing wrong with them people change them out and all that but there's no need Some of the bodies were um, base wood and alder. Um, from just feeling this and from my experience of Jap uh, Japanese strats, this feels like an alder body. It's quite a heavy alder body, believe it or not, for a strat. It's not as heavy as my GNL, uh, made in Indonesia strat, but um, this, this. I, this feels quite heavy for the strap. I would say it is Alder. And more than likely, because 
of the period it was built. It was built that period when there was no American strats and you had contemporary Fender strats with black um, headstocks on with the same tremolo and it was invented in Germany. So it was made in Germany, um, but the rest of the guitar was made in Japan. So yeah, it's a bit of, of history, this guitar. Like I said, with this tremolo, it's a bit of history. Um, yeah, and you can't get reissues of this. Uh, it just costs too much to build them, to build the tremolo identical. It just costs too much. You just can't get that quality anymore. You just can't. Even though the guitars are good these days and they've come a long way since the 70s, Strat copies and all that, you just can't get the quality of the uh, the metal. But yeah, so neck position. My amp's clean. No reverb. to the neck and the middle position. Now we're going to go to the middle position. to the middle and the bridge pickup. And it stays in tune very well, but remember it's got a locking system on it. So we got the bridge position. Sounds just like a strap. tone knobs they just work exactly like a normal strap obviously no tone on the bridge position so yeah um, what I'm gonna do now is just use the bar for the very first time just gonna plug it in and see if it actually well see if it works I'm gonna play an E chord and then I'm gonna just do a dive bump <laughs> Stayed in tune. Tremolo is not the original one. It doesn't quite fit exactly how you'd want it, but it works and the guitar keeps in tune. And if it does come out of tune, okay, you've got these fine tuners. Let's put a bit of dirt on it now. So I've got a little bit of dirt on the guitar.
Sounds great, that was the bridge position. Next position. <laughs> Clapton sort of vibe going on with the tone, a little bit there. Remember that neck position. This is what I mean. People change their pickups for no reason with these things. And like I said, you are not getting any guitar which is different to the Fender version. And I tell you what, I've actually owned two of these guitars, uh, but the Fender version many years back. And uh, I've actually um, owned a blue one with a rosewood fretboard. And I've actually owned a red one as well, candy apple red. Um, but yeah, you don't see these come up all the time. And obviously people like them as well. So um, people are not gonna want to sell them either. So let's go middle position. Reminds me of like the blues, Texas blues type of bar to it. But I'll be honest with you, I won't use it with the whammy bar. I quite like it just using it like this, and I can go. <laughs> Um, it's not been abused but it's been loved and used let's put it like that um, and you can tell if it's an early Jap E-series strap because it has these made in Japan fender tuning pegs the ones which were made a little bit later you know you get into 1987 um, they, they came out with these fender logo ones at the back um, and then some of them around the mid 80s and late 80s came with the normal goto machine heads um, so yeah japanese put different uh tuning pegs um on whatever they had a line around 
So yeah, like and subscribe to my channel. It's Lost Groove Music. If you've enjoyed this video, you'll probably see this uh, guitar uh, being played a lot. Mm -hmm.